Welcome back to Banner Saga 3. Let's just go. Armies have crashed against the steep black cliffs of Arborang before. As the warped do now, you retreated again, and it was costly. Thousands more dead, but necessary. Banshee whales went on long into the encroaching night, but the black rock wall has never been breached. Vendors tell you. Even with so many slaughtered spaces scarce, Elio nods when you tell him you're going to set some, get some air outside the crowded gathering halls. Survivors camp in different clusters atop the Black Rock. You wonder how many families sewn upon your banner are just memories now. Then you note how strange the silence sounds. The clans have lost their taste for troublemaking, and even the warped have withdrawn. Maybe you're safe up here. Maybe the menders are right. Stairs. Market. What's in the market? Oh, that looks fun. Mask of Enfar. Oath of Ender. Little Fang still here. Clasp of Kin. Well, that's all the fun. Okay. Stairs, I suppose. Fatigue draws you into a stupor. It feels weird to be doing nothing. Although, uh, Alio says, breaking the silence. Spirits are low. Maybe this would be a good chance to see how everyone's holding up. Consider it. How's Zephyr doing? Zephyr is overseeing the menders, looking just as drained, if not more. She calls you by name. I've heard more about you since coming to Harborang. Seems like people owe you a great deal. I didn't do it on my own. Close enough, though. I wish I had supported you better at the gates. I also heard you traveled with a vile named Yungvar. It seemed like quite a coincidence at first. I considered what to say. Do you mean Ivar? He is well known, especially amongst the dredge. They say he once slew a Sundir called Raze, who carried Bellower's child. Ruin was Raze's sister. It's my belief that Ruin probably came to Arborang, hoping to find young Var. <clears throat> In the dark face of this darkness, the other Sundir have scattered to the wind, but Ruin wanted revenge. If it meant killing everyone. Are you saying all of the people who died in the siege was because of Ivar? Well, I can only imagine it is why Bellower chased you all the way to Borsergaard. I suppose there's no point in secrets anymore. After the Great War, the Volca tried to broker a peace with the Dredge and mostly succeeded. But one of the conditions was that we delivered the Varl named Jungvar. They called him the Destroyer. We searched but never found him. Juno and Ivan would almost certainly have recognized him. Did they ever mention that? But they merely... merely let him die in a of time. I think they did talk about it at one point. So that's not true. They did leave nearly let him die, though. I wonder, was the decision truly young Vars or... No, it's best not to speculate about such things. You trust your friend Ivar completely? More than completely. Then you were right to let him go, and that itself gives me hope. What did you want to say? How did you discover this light spell? Not easily. Things went bad at Manahar, and I was the only one left in the aftermath. I spent days trying anything I could think of against the darkness. I nearly gave up, but... What Juno and Ivan must have done, nobody thought it was possible. When you became... when you became a Vulgar, you all forced to take an oath to be as vague and mysterious as possible? I'm sorry. It would be hard to believe if I told you. Try me. I believe they had pulled down and shattered the black sun that resides within the earth. Ah, okay, I see your earlier point. What's your plan now? <laughs> to keep this light lit as long as I can. In the early days, the Volca had nearly godlike powers. They spent generations obsessed with immortality. It has become diluted over time, of course. Did you know that the Volca raised the Black Rock Plateau we're standing on? Pulled straight out of the earth. The unnatural dark rock is the same material Dredge used to make their armor made. That was long before I was born. Me, I've learned a few tricks, but all I can do now is share the same blind hope that if we just hold it, well, maybe this will be all 
of more use to you than me. Bulger achieves an item for the fold of her cloak and hands it to you. Clasp of kin! Ooh, I think that was one of the things on sale, too. How long do you think we have? Not long now. Make the most of your time. As you would say, bludgy bugs. I only wish I could have done more. <sighs> Ubin! Buddy, what's up? Fucking love you, bro. The Scrivener? Scrivener. He's scratching diligently at his papers. He looks up. Hello, Hunter. Found yourself in a little patch of quiet. Don't know what to do with yourself. Something like that. The eye of the storms, as the poets say. You start predicting the weather when you're around long enough. Or maybe you just talk about it more. The old viral stops scratching notes to talk. Uh, ever seen anything like this before in your many years? You know, I've heard mankind take being called old an insult. Never knew why. Let me think. Well, the fall of Skirzman did. Skirzmirs did. There's something to behold. Half a city sinking into the silver stone. And Grafheim was even bigger. Something like this? No, it was not. Funny how our memories measure words, isn't it? I remember my companion Gulnulf telling me I looked like an eggplant better than I recall a city sinking beneath the waves. Okay. That's why I like to write things down. Novarl starts scratching notes to talk. What have you been writing? Stories, mostly. But not like the menders and skulls, no. The menders write about what's in the past, and the skulls sketch fantasies about what happened. The historical writings are mostly useless, if you ask me. Even a perfect record is only good as the man reading it. Most of us aren't that good. You mean we remember things the way that suits us best? You spin a dozen different morals from the same yarn. Indeed, we're all a bunch of liars at heart. I really don't want to agree. But he is right. I wrote stories about people. When someone reveals their own hopes and fears, the truth of the thing, even if it's a lie, understand? One of the reasons I learned to talk to people like the horseborn. I'd like to speak with the dredge too one day if they'll have me. Well, Marl stops scratching notes to talk. <clears throat> I've been curious for more detail about Dolland, the Horseborn's homeland. Yes, actually. Ah, uh, Dolland. You wouldn't believe it, Hunter. Cities of solid gold and rivers of wine. You're joking. You're a wily one. No, it's wide fields and tall sky. They wander. Everything they build has to wander with them. Did you know they believed the sun stopping was a blessing? They loved it before the earthquakes. Then their lands... Then their lands was shattered like out just like ours and yours and ours. Dredge came from everywhere. If you ask me, there's something a lot bigger beneath our feet than we realize. Oh yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. In a way it makes me glad. It'd be quite sad to live in a time when we've mapped everything the world has to show us. Then what? A small world makes for small thinking. You know, I, th I feel kind of similar sometimes where it's like, we've seen everything on the land, and yet somehow we haven't. We've mapped it all out, and we know so little. It's all... It's weird. The old virus are scratching. I'll leave you to your work. No worries. If you want to talk, I'm glad for the company. Out of curiosity, what are you planning to do with your writings if the darkness overtakes us? Leave it for someone else to find. A smile suddenly falls from his face as he realized it'll become warped. <laughs> Would you believe I hadn't thought of that? Maybe a horseborn could... No, not without a mender. Maybe we could spare a mender too. Damnation. We'll have to live. There's no way around it. <laughs> what? Well, I guess I just have to survive now. Fuck. I was all prepped for death and now I just... Shit! I guess it's the way it's gotta be. Ah, tasty water. Alright. Is that, uh, is everything? 
Woo! To the tower. <clears throat> the Warped have not been able to scale the Black Wall since coming here a day ago. Many want to take full advantage of the respite. Others call it folly. Keeping a full watch now means forcing fatigue and wounded survivors to take turns. Some haven't slept in days. Uh, the storm protected me. The body was on watch. Force everyone to take their fair turn. Don't do that. Yes, let the strong protect the weak, let the volunteers take watch. Unfair, some say. Life's unfair, replies others. Stress is starting to seep into every decision. Nobody comes away happy, but enough capable men and women volunteer. The dreaming face of a sleeping child convinces you it was the right choice. <sighs> right. I guess we go to the basement now. <clears throat> a woman comes to you quietly in confidence. It's a whole bunch of the fools. Drunk as boiled owls, laughing it up down there. Some of the men have snuck downstairs to take advantage of the dwindling need. Join us, Hunter. They chortle. When you go to look for yourself, can't take it with you. Maybe they have a point. On the other hand, these supplies have could have been stretched out for days. Just buy a trig trigavy amongst them and slap a cup from his hand. Rattles to the that was a lot more noises. Oh. As you watch, it continues to bounce on as if on its own until the whole room rumbles and shakes. Flagstone bursts around your feet and a warped claw the way from underneath. It's like, well, I, you know, I heard the cup drop and then something nuts happened. Great. Terra drags the sluggards to their feet. This must be what the warped have been up to this whole time. Fane. Slurs a man, pulling down a barrel onto the warped and knocking it to, knocking it back below. Fain them all! Ah. So, I'm, I'm gonna come clean. I, I read ahead. <laughs> so I know things. And knowing things is affecting my decision. I'm trying to make it not do that, and it's hard. But I only know half of things, because I'm not remembering it clearly, and it makes it... See? Wait for help. Leave the meat alone, you shout angrily, pushing a man up the stairs, and send more real help if you're going to be useless, quickly! More warp drag themselves up into the basement. An eternity later, backup comes, clomping down the stairs. What took you so long? It's not just here. It's not just here. They're coming up all over the plateau. Oh, good. Amongst the warp dredge rises the twisted wreckage of what must be a sudden death. Just its presence makes your skin crawl and your instincts scream. Flee, but where? Send them back into the dirt! You shout in spite of yourself. Well. Well. Okay. Is anyone here still fucking injured? Ha! 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 Fair. Okay. Who am I bringing in the team? I mean, we still got Canary for now. Hacking. Oh, why'd you have to go and kill the what do you do again? Which You're the spear thrower as well, right? Do you do the poison? You do. Okay, so you do the same thing as Deidre. Let's promote you. It's fine. Fine. Everything's gonna be fine. We're all fine. Can I promote you? There's an achievement for this, apparently. Bam. Promote a hero to rank 15 achievement. Completed. <clears throat> Heroic toy available. You, yeah, we already have it. It's done. We're maxed. It's fine. Oh, you're just fully max level now, too. That's cool. Um. Huh. Well, I guess we'll do that, and then... No, no, no. What's the other one? Stubborn. I like you being defiant. Makes sense. You are back. Alright. Now. Got three archers... Oh, there's a... Never mind. There's an achievement to have these two in a battle, in sever, uh, several battles, and it's called Bromance. <laughs> so apparently they're supposed to be... Bruce. 
that's all. Uh, yeah, we're bringing Canary. Fuck, I leveled her up. Let's do it. Okay. Do this. No. Do that. Do that. It. Yes. Okay, that's good. Uh, everyone's equipped with an item. I honestly don't care to check to see if it's the best ones. At this point, let's just do it. Well. What is that? A sunder? Yeah. That's a... A warped sunder. Fight, we're all doomed. Yeah, no fucking kidding. Okay. So, I did what I did. Kind of do you like that, you like that. You can go here, you can go there. Apparently you just get to stand there, that's fun, I'm glad you're in your trunk. Ah, oh, good. Good. Well, at least you resist damage. From being incapable of hitting anything. Ah, uh, what do you do? Bring the pain. Breaks any of his arm, punishes the other unlock target back. Okay, well. Huh. Because we just move the wall forward. And we wait. Oh, hello, Eyeless. Good to see you, buddy. Ah, oh, good. Good, good, good. Uh, Overwatch isn't worth it. Can't hit ya. Let's move closer. Let's get some shield wall in there. Sunder, the Sundier. God damn. Some tower guards there, I see. Um. Pray to again? It's like I can hit anyone. Yeah, it's fine. Slag and burn. Hit them both with the fire. Feed with the fires of hell! <laughs> I don't know where that energy came from, but I'm kind of okay with it. Great. Bloody flail! Always a good opener. Excellent. The fact that Eyeless is letting us focus fire on this effectively is great. What's with the little fires above their head? What's that about? Soul Drain. What? They do that from us or that happens to them? You don't have Soul Drain, so that's just an ability. Well, so there's n you're not going to tell me what the little fire is then, are you? Fuck yeah, then. You, do you do the thing? Alright, this resurrects a fallen unit to fight for her. Yeah, vulnerable while channeling and explodes. When a possessed unit is KO'd, Eyeless gains. Oh, well, we don't want that let that fucking happen. Uh, alright, we're, we're nid. Yes. Uh, yeah, just right here is fine. Go to pray. Rain of arrows? Nope. Just attack. Bring that armor down a little bit more. Canary should be able to get some good damage in there. And yes. Do I, you know, I think I want to throw some poison in there. They can't take damage when they're channeling. So that's what it says there. Be vulnerable when channeling. Ah, I don't know if that means... I hope it means. Just poke him. Oh, right, you just have a good mischance in general. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, put an end to the warp cinder. I sure did. Nap time for Babby. Bam. Ah, good. Good. Burn. Now we. Oh, no. Don't do that. I'll let you perfectly find where you are. Uh, Sunder the sun your armor a little bit. It comes. Ooh. Great. 
You know what? <laughs> Second verse, same as the first. Burn, baby, burn. Get fucked. May not be a lot of damage, but it's done it to all of them. That's... Negate, ignore his armor. It's all very good. I should have bloody flailed. I just realized who I was using. Wep. Hey, you uh, Okay. You have Bird of Prey, Rain of Arrows. Uh, just attack. Yep. I feel like in the second game they had. Uh oh. If everyone's dead, your bitch ass does nothing. Poison tip. Poison the bear. Dog. The pig. Bear pig. Beast. Poison the animal. <clears throat> Hurt him. Yes. Oh, yeah. There we go. Now it's the way I like it. I'm sure there's some people that don't like it this way, but I just, I like having all that information readily apparent. Because I have object permanence issues, apparently. Legitimately. Apparently it's part of ADHD. I... No, step in the fire. The fire? It's imminent? Don't kill my friend. It's not what I wanted you to do at all. God, these guys are just not working with me. <clears throat> Rip him off. I think that's what I wanted to say. But to be honest. Anyway. Let's maximize this. What? Okay. That was weird. It looked like it went from 7 to 3, and I got real scared. Finish this off, please. Thank you. Go away. They remember to use their bloody flail. Howie. Uh, do it twice. Strip him. And I'm just gonna leave the mage to last and push him into a corner. Go away, please. Excellent. 14 damage. One health left. Can she just... I don't want to move. So I'm just gonna attack this one. And let someone else deal with the beast. Hey! to deal with that one apparently hey, hey poison did it perfect let's bully the mage piss wasted that and turn seem to also be poisoned how did that happen I'm just gonna assume ha can't take willpower if I don't got any it's not the brag I want it to be Bear. Enter. Come on, then. Wow. What a wonderful turn you had. Ah, uh, no. Just attack. Armor down. And so it begins. That's fine. Well, come over here and start menacing them, I guess. Be all spoopy. Well, that, if you'd be so kind as to wound that thing. Great. Yours, sir, uh, my darling. My fave. Finish it. Excellent. Hey, double blind, yay. Um, funny story, apparently there's a second one, possibly, depending on how much I fuck things up. But we'll see what happens. I have a feeling I know what ending I'm going to get, but... The basement is dark and silent once again, and the survivors hustle to seal the cover holes. You're suddenly glad you saved the mead because you could use a drink right now.
Someone is telling Zephyr that only half the menders have survived. Checked on old friends. Hey! Hey! We got a full four fucking days! Yeah! <laughs> Swayed vigilance against rest. And rest resisted the warped invasion. Hell yeah, we did! Hoorah! <laughs> four whole days to hold the rocks. And then we just gotta hold a house. Yay! Complaints of Aiken Feek and sore back somehow takes your mind to Elfer. Uh, or maybe you sense something from the corner of the eyes. The dim ghost of a light approaches from the distance and the caravan rushes to it. Elfrin is alone. She shakes her head. He was not interested in talking, but they may have been able to lead him astray. Remind the others not to wait this, waste this opportunity and their pace quickens. Okay. Apparently I chose poorly several times before, in case you weren't surprised. Uh, warped dredge bodies ornament this hill like tribulations. Some sitting or slumped, all dead. What happened here? Grunts of Olgard, pushing one over with his foot. Hundreds could be seen from the hilltop, and they looked suspiciously arranged. This wasn't a battle. Olgard continues, noting the same. Juno and Ivan have nothing to add. Wait, what if this is just a warning of some kind of, for something ahead? Says Ditch. Um... It doesn't matter. We, we have a thing to do. It, it, let's go. Fainum. We'll uh, only add putting a bookend to the conversation. We'll lead the bodies to the resting places. We don't have time. The white no. tower that looked like a toothpick when I first saw it now soars above our heads, dwarfing any structure made by kings or wow. This is where our troubles began. And with luck, where they will end. In the back of your mind, you always knew it was coming. A fearsome figure stands before the White Tower, before a crowd of warped terrors. Almost started to worry you wouldn't make it, Bulbert growls. <clears throat> knew I'd see your smiling faces again. I was expecting the serpent myself. The serpent carved a path for me straight to this place. You remember the quakes near the cliffs and put the pieces together. It must be getting pretty desperate if it brought you here to deal with us. On the contrary, it seems like a great idea. Go ahead and try some mind tricks, see what rage really looks like. This is the last chance for reason, Mulvar. The ravens can survive this. They're not mine anymore, witch! You know, I saw this place in my dreams. So this is where the Volca did all their dirty deeds and stole your powers. Never thought I'd end up taking the dredge's side. So. I'm going to start with why I'm going to choose this option. I'm pish picking two. Rush Bulvark attacking while he's off guard. Because we don't have time. We don't have time. After he killed Falka, he's... It's not... We're not reasoning with him. It's not working. It's not happening. And also, I looked up a walkthrough, and apparently if you choose either of the other two options, you have to fight three waves of enemies and then Bulvark, but if you rush them, you only have to fight Bulvark and a couple of dinky little fuckers? Anyway, since I can see the future, you lunge, your weapon arcing towards Bulvark with the momentum. Okay. Fuck. That's not Okay, we're just going to take the highest levels, then. That's how we're going to do this. Uh, bring everybody down. Ah. Uh, Okie dokie. Ivar is required. Elfrin? Absolutely. fucking lively Juno? Sure. 
Bulger and Castaway. Ooh, we lost apostate. When did we lose apostate? How many others are missing that I just don't realize are gone? <sighs> All right. Um. Well, rest. Yeah, you're. Stop. Right back on strength. Let's give that back to Agro. Minus one aggro. Run. Return sounds great. Dodge. It's back. The other option is plus two break. I go past away. Um, we can level people up, and we're we're gonna. Let's start with Ivar. It's gonna have a heroic title. You earned it. Blood letter. Uh, one point of stat dot on hit. So you have a poisonous axe, basically. Death's message. Keep hitting the same thing. You do more damage. Monster killer. Gain will on kills. Oath maker. German point of zealotry. Others may question. The mountain. This might be the one to go for. The unbent. The wolf. Uh, no. Great. Because I also want to promote someone else. Alvin! Great, we're not going to give you a heroic title yet. Uh, Castaway, you have one, right? Nope, but you have the ability to get one. Juno has the foolish castaway. Blood letter. Absolutely blood letter. Range fighter. Giving a dot on hit is a yes. Um. Oathmaker? Ain't a lot. Wolf. Yeah, the wolf. Alfred and the wolf sounds great. Alright, titled, 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 titled. Hey, you can get it. No, you can't. It's real close, though. <laughs> it costs 10 to level up any more titles. So, you can't be leveled up? No, alright. Well! There is another option instead of back. And you know what? He's a fucking mender in my eyes. He deserves to be here. He gets his thing. What are your injuries? Minus two strength in battle. This <laughs> is great. Minus okay, okay. Well, it could be worse. Not that much. Good. Oh, good, Ivar. Yes, just hit him. I've heard enough. Kerplank. Ah, good, the knockback. Stay out of my way, Ivar. Okie dokie, so Ivar's up there. Um. I'm gonna arrange everybody and then I'm gonna end the episode. Yeah, that's right. Just to... Honestly, just like this is probably the best call. Ooh, we can attack the pillars. I wonder what that does. Warped Volca Crystal. Volatile crystals and shards flying when struck. Well, that sounds fun. And for next time, for now, you guys have yourselves a wonderful night.